Well, we are joined once again by Idaho press columnist or entertainment columnist and TV media entertainment guru, April Neal. She's joining us today to talk about something super cool. So I have to, I have to be very transparent with you. I've been really looking forward to seeing the Weird Al, uh, the Weird, the Al Yankovic story, right, on Prime, right? No, it's on Roku channel. Roku, that's what it Which is, on Roku. Nobody thinks that Roku has a channel. Because yes. it's a device, but it's got a channel. It's got a channel, and, and apparently, like, a really good movie, because I've heard nothing yeah. but really good reviews about this. It's for everybody. You can sit down. It's in the spirit of Airplane. It's a parody Which I love. of biopic films, and there's so much fun in it. It's, it's so over the top, and the casting is, is what really sells it. Yes. Yeah. And yeah. I spoke... The minute that I heard that Daniel Radcliffe was going to be playing Weird Al, I was like, excuse me, what? Harry Potter is what? I, right. But I hear he really pulls it off. Well, he brings the, 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 the theatrical training and the gravitas to this role, which is a very silly role, yeah. which makes it even more hilarious mm -hmm. because he's playing it straight. And, uh, you know, he's very earnest, and, and, and uh, he's, he was the perfect casting. Awesome. For, for Weird Al, absolutely. Okay. But you got some incredible inside scoop because you actually spoke to the director, so fill us in, April. Eric Appel, this is a great story, and for anyone out there that has a child who may be interested in getting into film comedy, um, he started out as a comedian, and he, then he got into writing. A friend of his, Andy Milanakis, who had a show, comedy show, he started writing for him. Cut to, he went to Funny or Die, he got hired by them. He made this short in 2010 um, about like if Weird Al had a biopic. Yeah. And Weird Al saw it and he loved it. Patton no Oswalt connected them. His mutual friend, his comedian friend. So this is why your friendships are so important. This is why tenacity in your career is so important because yes. Patton Oswalt connected him to Weird Al back in 2010. And Al was like, this isn't the time to do it, but I like this. And he played his short at all of his concerts when he would do costume changes. Cut to 2019, um, Al sent him an email and said, I think it's time to do this movie. Let's blow this short up. And uh, Eric said that they literally rated his Christmas card list of people to contact for cameos. <laughs> and I just love that. So he's got Evan Rachel Wood playing Madonna. He's yes. got Patton Oswalt, who, by the way, took Aaron Paul from Idaho. Uh -huh. Aaron Paul was supposed to be cast as the heckler in the biker bar, but Patton Oswalt stepped in because Aaron Paul got COVID. Because uh, the time and when they were producing And they it, shot yeah. this film in 20 days, and it was brilliant. I mean, in 20 days? 20 days. That's pretty tight. It is tight, but the script was on point. Wow. And Jack Black plays the Wolfman. I love Jack Black. And there's this wonderful scene um, with uh, Rain Wilson plays Dr. Demento. Uh -huh. And Dr. Demento has this 70s, 80s, you know, icon party at his grotto. <laughs> and, uh, you know, he's introducing Weird Al to all of these, like, Andy Warhol and Dolly and... You know, and then in comes Jack Black as the Wolfman, and they kind of have this showdown that's like, yeah, you think you're so talented? Do a song. Oh, on the I spot. can only imagine. Was okay, brilliant. so I, I absolutely have to watch this. We've yes. got to tune in, everybody, and watch this. Yeah, it's, it's be great. hilarious. A lot Speaking of, fun. of Jack Black, though, so what an incredible story for Eric, though, uh, with just people knowing people knowing people, and mm -hmm. then this happening now, though, too, now he's also working with Jack Black. Right, so there was a movie called The Step Dude. It was sort of languishing in. Um, development hell, as if that uh -huh. they call it in Hollywood, and it was, uh, Sony had it. And uh, he was signed as the, Eric Appel was signed as the writer-director, and he's working with Jack Black again on that. That he's is so lead. awesome. Yeah. Oh, what a It'll great story funny. in itself, just for Eric, too. Yeah. Okay, so April, if people want to follow you and everything else that you're doing, because this is just a tip of the iceberg of the things that you cover, uh, where do they go? Just, I'm, I'm really active on Twitter, uh, at April Mac, A-P-R-I-L-M-A-C. I'm also on Instagram, and uh, you can find me in the Idaho Press every Sunday in print, and on Wednesdays they will publish my column usually ahead of time, so people can find it online as well. Wonderful, April. Thank you so much. Thank really you. Appreciate it.